I am uh, Dr. Ravinder Bachiradi. I am Chief of Cardiology at CHI St. Luke's Memorial and I am also the Founder President of Heart Institute of East Texas. I am a farmer's son born in a small village outside uh, a big city, uh, Hyderabad. And when I was uh, young, my parents moved to Hyderabad, the big city, for education. So they convinced me while I was growing up that I should be a doctor, a noble profession, helping others and saving lives. So that ingrained in me and uh, I decided I should become a doctor. I went to medical school in uh, India, Hyderabad, Usmania Medical College, completed my training, and then I came to United States of America for further training. I was trained at uh, Bronx Lebanon Hospital, affiliated to Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York City, where I completed my internal medicine and cardiology fellowship training. And then I was looking for a place to practice. I have fond memories of how it all started. After having experienced fast pace of New York City, I was looking for a place with a warmer climate and a smaller town. So when I came to attend American College of Cardiology meeting in Houston in 1981. Someone told me at the meeting that East Texas, Pinewoods country is beautiful. So I rented a car and drove along East Texas. And I fell in love not only with the climate but also the East Texas greenery and the piney woods. I decided I should come to Lufkin to start my cardiovascular practice. I started my practice in Lufkin in 1982 at the invitation of the local physician, physicians as well as both the hospital administrators. Soon after I arrived in Lufkin, I realized that patients who had heart problems and vascular problems were going to Houston, either being transferred or going there with their families because of the lack of technologies and lack of he skilled healthcare professionals to treat cardiovascular diseases. Back before the Heart Institute was here, you know, patients were lost just because they didn't have the expertise to take care of them. They did their best. We have fabulous doctors who did their very best, but they weren't specialists uh, in that field like Dr. Bosheretti and his team are. And so having a heart issue, heart attack, was a frightening thing. People no longer have to go to Houston to get the best health care uh, when they have a heart issue. They can stay right here at home. And that means everything to people, you know. We used to have to always go to Houston, but now we can get first-rate, excellent care here. When I came out of residency, actually, both hospitals were kind of uh, technologically behind. I meant uh, all we could do as far as cardiac was stress tests and echoes of the heart. And if you had a bad heart attack, you just kind of had to hold on and till you could get them probably to Houston or Tyler. Uh, there was no interventions done at that time. Could not do bypasses, could not do heart caths. So uh, we were well behind the times in actuality. All you could do then was put them on a morph, give them some morphine and put them on a nitroglycerin drip and maybe some heparin, hope they made it, stabilize them and then ship them. We know now that the key is very quick intervention. I'm talking about within hours of intervention. That did not exist. 
So, yes, people actually died because we did not have uh, that ability. I'm kind of one of those old souls from Lufkin, and um, I actually was here. I remember the time that Dr. Bacioretti came in and started introducing himself into Lufkin, and all the physicians were so excited that they were going to have uh, access to a cardiologist because before that, before the um, cardiology team came into Lufkin, we really had no place to send our patients. Uh, I worked at my husband's office for a great number of years, and if we had someone that came in with cardiac problems, we really had no place to send them. Um, it, we were in family medicine, so the best we could do would be to send them over to the internists. There were three internists, Dr. Um, Roland, Smith, and Denman. And so we would send them over to the internist, and from there, then if they could not take care of the problem, those patients were sent out to Houston or other places for care. Cardiovascular disease was, and still is, is the leading cause of death in the United States. It affects everyone, both men and women, all races and all ethnic groups. So something had to be done. And hence, I approached the physician leaders in Lufkin and both the administrators and started introducing non-invasive technologies like two-dimensional echocardiography and nuclear scans, not only to diagnose heart condition, but also to the, treat them. Then in 1984, Dr. Chandra joined me. We were still struggling to treat heart patients because of the lack of invasive technologies like cardiac catheterizations. So we again had a plan. We had a strategy. We had met with several physician leaders and the hospitals to get us the latest cardiac catheterization lab for the pur purpose of diagnosing and treating heart conditions. Mel Lagarde, who was the CEO, young dynamic CEO at Woodland Heights Medical Center, saw the need for this technology and with the physician leadership we, we brought the latest state-of-the-art cardiac catheterization lab to Lufkin and had our first cardiac catheterization performed in 1987. This was a memorable day in my life and a historic event in Lufkin. After two more years, we decided that we needed more technology to treat heart conditions. And we also decided it's time to get heart surgery program to Lufkin. So we planned, we had a strategy, we had uh, several meetings with the local physicians and the administrators. And we had a lot of challenges along the way, but we persevered and decided to bring the best heart surgery program to Lufkin. We heard at the time, Dr. Ross Kiger, who was the president of American Texas Heart Association, was planning to relocate to Nacogdoches, the next town, for his CV surgery practice. So we decided to meet with him. We traveled to Houston with uh, some of the Lufkin physician leaders, and we convinced him to move his practice to Lufkin. And the first open heart surgery was performed in 1988, and the rest is history. The next few years, me and Dr. Chandra brought in several life-saving cardiac procedures to this region, including coronary atherectomy, 
coronary rotoblader and coronary stents. In fact, we were the first ones to perform coronary stent procedure in Lufkin in the entire East Texas. Again, with all these procedures being brought to Lufkin and Lufkin was slowly becoming a regional medical center and there was a lot of excitement and enthusiasm everywhere. Uh, we decided then that we, it is at this time that we should enhance our cardiovascular practice to the county surrounding Lufkin where there is hardly any cardiac services available. Then in 2013, with the help of CHI Memorial, Mr. Uh, Gary Looper, who was the CEO at the time, we partnered with, with the hospital to enhance cardiovascular care in Deep East Texas. Not only in Lufkin, but also in surrounding counties. Lufkin is an unusual town for this population. You know, the population of Lufkin is about 35,000 people and the county is about 100,000 people. But over the years, it has been this hub of activity. And, and we are told the draw for medical, retail, uh, everything here uh, really covers about 250,000 people. So Lufkin has some attributes that most towns this size don't have because it actually is dealing with a much larger population than what you see on the city limits sign. It is not common at all and I'm not sure how many people understand the fact that to have this level of cardiac care available in what is a rural area is, is really unheard of. So to me, the ability to acquire and maintain a group of physicians that at different stages are trained and educated with most state-of-the-art and current technologies and have them stay in deep East Texas in a small community by providing them with a ability to practice the best of their abilities. It's our strongest aspect. This allows us to bring the technology for the communities and population of Deep East Texas, a rural community, for which under normal circumstances they would have to travel more than 100 miles either north or south. I think that it, that it says a lot that we have such a fine medical facility here in this, in this area and truly I think that's part of the reason that our, man, our medical community has grown to the size that it is today is because the Heart Institute is here. But I think people look, look at this area and again medical care is so important to people. I mean I'm 43 but in time I'm sure I'll be a client down here at some point. You know. So people are looking at that long term and they want to be close to good, good health care. I think anybody who uh, lives in a smaller town in general has to fight the big city vacuum, if you will, the sucking sound to go down to Houston for care. But the Heart Institute established a, a, such a high bar, a high standard of care that people realized they didn't need to go down to Houston to receive the same or better care than they could get in the big city. We've certainly uh, emulated that in the cancer program that we have in Lufkin as well. But the best care is close to home. Well, the beauty of, of Lufkin being such a dynamic uh, medical hub is the fact that, that people don't have to travel to Houston, um, that they can continue to stay with people that have uh, delivered their children to taking care of maybe their elderly patients. Um, they are a household name. Um, their physicians are someone that they trust and the fact that um, they have taken care of every aspect of probably that family's life 
Um, the fact that they don't have to go to Houston, that they can stay right here at home, that they can um, have the best quality care right here in Lufkin, Texas, is uh, it's undoubtedly um, something that we're very proud to hang our hat on. I am very proud of Heart Institute of East Texas. When we moved to 310 Gaslight, we built in this facility to improve our uh, patient care, the quality of care, and also to bring the latest of the technologies to treat our patients. Heart Institute of East Texas serves patients from not only in Lufkin, but surrounding 10 counties. So we brought in the latest state-of-the-art technologies like 2D echocardiogram and uh, nuclear scans. And the, both the departments are nationally accredited and we also brought in the outpatient cardiac cath lab with the help of CHI St. Luke's Memorial. So we could perform most of the outpatient procedures under one roof. So the patients, especially traveling from out of town, can have these tests done on the same day. This not only improves the access to patient care, but also improves patient comfort and relieves the families to get all the procedures done on one day. We then also have cardiac rehabilitation program at the Heart Institute of East Texas, which is again nationally accredited, which is extremely important to all the heart patients, especially those who have had bypass surgery, angioplasties, or pacemaker insertions, and valve replacement surgeries to improve and go back to their work much quicker and also learn about all the risk factors for cardiovascular diseases. This not only prevents them being readmitted to the hospital, but also improve their, their long-term outlook as well as quality of life improvement. I was in Houston having run-of-the-mill knee surgery and had a heart attack on the operating room while I was getting the knee worked on. They took me to Baylor and they said they did two balloons and they would have done a third operation, but they couldn't. So I came here and uh, Bottredi and Chandra put a stent in where they could not in Houston. So from then on, uh, we were already friends, but from then on, I became a rabid advocate of the heart center and these doctors. The heart of the matter is uh, that in our area and region, we have a high level of people that have heart disease. And to know that we have one, professionals that know how to do it right, that take great pride in serving their patients and ensuring that they have longevity. Uh, you know, to know that right here, 40 years, uh, Dr. Bacioretti and the entire team of cardiologists have provided that type of care is an investment that we could never, ever imagine uh, right here in a small community of Lufkin, Texas. And you know, they are in various other communities, uh, you know, more than a 70 mile radius. And that truly says that they are going the distance to make sure that they connect with everyone in rural communities. I think that what we do here at home to serve people that would otherwise not have access is tremendous. The best part of the Heart Institute is we practiced medicine and cardiology as a science, but not as a business. Our outlook is always the patient outcome. Any complex patient gets second opinion, third opinion, and fourth opinion by cross consultation without any extra cost or extra visits by the, for the patients. It's, um, so it's all about the standard of care, quality of care, and you kind of like lifting up the overall quality of care that's provided to the patient. So when you kind of like do things consistently in a reliable way with state of art technology to the national standards with the best outcomes, uh, obviously the patients here get the best possible care, which 
also kind of like increases the quality of the hospitals locally to the highest possible level. I am very proud of my 12 cardiology colleagues who have been extremely compassionate, hardworking and patient centered philosophy. We have worked together to become a regional medical center, to make Lufkin a regional medical center. I am also proud of my staff, administrative staff, nursing staff, and all the rest of the supporting staff, without whose help we could not have succeeded in taking care of our heart patients. We're a group of 12 cardiologists. We have a good variety within our group, both some that uh, do general cardiology, some that do interventional cardiology. We have two in our practice that are specializing in electrophysiology, so we have a broad spectrum of availability of specialists uh, within our group, and that allows us to provide in lots of different areas. We both do provide um, um, cutting edge diagnostic testing, whether that's a cardiac catheterization or having a nuclear stress test or having echoes and TEEs and cardioversions and devices implanted to reduce the risk of stroke with atrial fib. There's a lot of different things that we have available and we constantly are upgrading our abilities in our practice here and are constantly adding as they become available within the cardiology field, uh, integrating that in our care here. So we have 10 offices where it serve 11 of the 12 counties around us. And um, we go to the patients for their convenience, not for our convenience. So currently, as of this day, 2022, the Heart Institute of East Texas has 12 cardiologists, of which nine are interventional cardiologists, one general cardiologist, and two EPs. We also have three APRNs, nurse practitioners, and we have 63 staff members that are currently working at the Heart Institute of East Texas full-time. I think the, we are all bound and uh, united in our mission with the Heart Institute uh, in the sense to provide high-quality, cost-effective care to our patients close to their home. And I think it's been a wonderful journey for Heart Institute. It's been a wonderful journey for myself uh, in person to be a part of this team uh, trying to achieve that goal. Well, I've had several very sick patients through the years who, who have required uh, interventions by the cardiologists um, and quickly they've required them. Um, and that has always gone really smoothly. I personally had a cardiac scare and they were there for me. Uh, when I went through my um, heart scare and um, so that was from a personal standpoint um, I really appreciate them also. I have never needed any of these physicians that I didn't get a response with one call and for that I'm eternally grateful. This community is and will always be eternally grateful to the Heart Institute our improving the access to patient care and our efforts to get specialty clinics to improve the access to the patients who are discharged from the hospital. Texas Medical Foundation gave us gold award for quality improvement as well as our patient educational efforts to prevent cardiovascular diseases. That is the highest award any cardiology group practice can receive. And we were the only one out of 32 practices in seven state to receive Texas Medical Foundation Gold Award. And we are extremely proud of that. This achievement is the result of hard work and dedication of the heart team. It's a recognition of coordination of care, faster care, and better outcomes 
in addition to improvement in patient satisfaction. I probably thank them for my life or maybe even literally, certainly uh, the good life that I'm able to enjoy. And to express what professionals they are, every person here uh, is interested in helping us and getting us better and taking care of us. We, they've helped hundreds of people, perhaps thousands, who are alive today because of the Heart Center. You know, a business to be here for 40 years and still thriving on what they um, put out to the community, it's a blessing that, you know, they can do that. And still at the top of what they're, do, they're doing, you know, for the community, um, you know, you have company that's come here, they come one or two years, five years, 10, but 40 years, my hats is out to them because it's not easy, you know, running a business in um, a, a community, you know, because you have to have different things, stable, going right. And so uh, my hats is off to the Heart Institute for being here for 40 years. Well, anytime uh, a business uh, can celebrate a milestone such as a 40 year anniversary, that's just huge. That is a, a major accomplishment and certainly one that needs to be celebrated. Uh, but when you really look specifically here at the Heart Institute of East Texas, you know, looking back uh, to the year 1982, you know, when these doors opened here with uh, Drs. Bacioretti and Chandra, um, it's really remarkable to see the growth uh, of this facility, but really the, the, the more profound impact is seen in the, you know, the, the throngs of patients that have come through here. And one thing that uh, never ceases to surprise me is when I talk to folks that have, you know, had their healthcare services here, how incredibly impressed they were, not just with the state-of-the-art technology that was used in that uh, procedure, but the level of compassion and care, not just from the physicians, but at staff level as well. So, you know, I think it's just a, uh, a, an accomplishment that we really need to be proud of here in this community, that we have such a, a, a outstanding group of, of citizen doctors that care deeply about this community and their patients. Well, I'd just like to say uh, good job. Uh, I thank God that uh, you sent uh, these two cardiologists our way that started this and, uh, and it was a blessing to our patients and continues to be. Thank you for always being there for all the physicians in town. Congratulations on 40 years and thank you for making Lufkin uh, your home, Raised, raising your children here and, and uh, uh, couldn't be more pleased. I'd just like to say congratulations and, and we appreciate, I'm sure there's other places that, uh, you know, Dr. Bacioretti, Dr. Chandra, when they founded the Heart Institute, there's other places they could have gone to but they chose our, our small town of Lufkin to, uh, to, to, to found this great organization. And, and that's so important. And that, that means a lot to me because they cared enough to come here. They realized there was a need in this area and it probably wasn't easy starting out, but they've grown and uh, you know, their, their uh, success is well-deserved. Their commitment to East Texas and all of the accomplishments that they, they have, um, it's, it's worthy of celebrating. And for me, as a representative of St. Luke's, I would say congratulations, job well done, and I look forward to another, another 40 years. Well, I, I would like to just send my heartfelt congratulations uh, to the physicians here at the Heart Institute of East Texas on celebrating this 40-year milestone. I mean, what an accomplishment. And uh, I'm so proud to know so many of these physicians and call them friends. Um, you know, I've known uh, uh, several of these physicians, uh, especially Dr. Bacioretti uh, and his wife Aruna for many years. And uh, they're, they're personal friends of, of myself and my family. And uh, it just, it means so much to me, not just the professional care that they provide uh, for the citizens here in this community, but really just for their friendship. And you know, to know that, yes, they're here to provide a, a service and to improve the, uh, the, the, the lifestyle and the health outcomes of the residents here is, uh, is huge. But 
more importantly to me is to know how committed they are uh, personally to this community and the, the multitude of avenues that they take to give back uh, with friendships, with giving back to support community events. You know, that's what it takes to thrive uh, in a smaller community. And I'm just so blessed and I hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody will agree with me that we're all so blessed to have these physicians here in our community. Thank you to the Heart Institute for countless lives saved and for truly, truly being the heart of the East Texas medical community. Uh, we are very proud of, of what you've done and wish you many more years of success. Thank you for your stability that you've been here, that you have become a part of this community and it is the the Institute is, is just a part of the industry as far as Lufkin is concerned. But thank you for everything that you've done. Thank you for the seminars and programs and, uh, and statistics that you've brought to our community. And uh, we wish you the best as in the future. We'd love another 40 years. I, I just want to say to the entire team, congratulations. Um, especially to Bachi and to Chandra, um, you mean a lot to me. You have been there when my dad died and you took care of us and you've continued to take care of my family. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Congratulations and I love you very much. It's a, it's a great achievement. If someone asked me that Lufkin would have, a small town Lufkin would have this kind of technology treating the heart patients that is only possible in the biggest of the institutions, I wouldn't have believed it. All this happened because of hard work, because of teamwork, because of working with everyone who has a role to play, especially the physicians, hospitals, and all other healthcare professionals.